So what kind of message does the Chauvin verdict send to law enforcement across the country? That's a topic of discussion tonight with Bellevue's police chief, Steve Milet. And you might remember over the summer, uh, Chief Milet candidly spoke with a crowd of protesters saying the department stands with those who were there to protest injustice. Let's take a listen. I will tell you this. Since I've been chief, I had a white police officer refer to a subordinate officer in a racial slur. What did I do? I fired him. Hey, yeah. I fired him because it does not reflect the values of this police department. What it means to protect and serve is I'm going to lay my life down for you. I'm going to do everything in my power to protect you as a human being, your family, your property. And we're joined now by Chief Milet to discuss policing moving forward. Chief, thank you so much for joining us tonight on this historic day, a big moment in history for a lot of people. And we first want to just ask the question that we kind of brought up at the top here. What kind of message is this sending now? And, you know, you had that very powerful message and connection with the community over the summer during protests, as we saw there in the video moments ago. So what is your message to communities of color who feel relief in this verdict, but also distrust in police still? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I fully understand where the distrust comes from. And I, I got to tell you, Aliana, it just kills me that somebody would look at me and, and the uniform that I wear and what it represents to me and so many in my profession and that they would look at this with a level of mistrust. Um, we lost it as a profession. It's our responsibility to gain it back. And I, tell you, I can tell you here in Bellevue, our officers, our civilian staff work very, very hard to earn the trust of our community and maintain it. It's not by words, it's by actions. It's by us listening to them and responding to what they're saying. Um, you know, today it was a good day, right? I mean, this man, this criminal police officer was held accountable. Um, but that's not going to bring George Floyd back. He's still dead. This shouldn't have happened. And, you know, there is not a police officer that I've spoken with since May 25th of last year that in any way, shape, or form try to condone what Derek Chauvin did. They all condemn what he did. And he and there was nothing more that he deserved than to be let out of that courtroom in handcuffs. Chief, there are a number of bills about policing before the legislature right now. Do you see major changes coming, major reform coming in use of force? And what do you tell your officers? I do think that there's going to be continued reform in policing. Um, and what I'm telling our officers is that, you know, if these, if these reforms make us stronger and more connected with the community, then, then they're good, depending upon how far they go. Uh, I can tell you that the State Chiefs Association, Sheriff's Association have been very involved and on the forefront of championing change, responsible change. Um, and again, it's time for us to listen to our communities and, um, and to engage in, in, in discussions. Chief Milet, you know, one of the big questions is, you know, what does this verdict, what kind of message does this send to police officers? Not to police officers like yourself, but to those, as we've heard people say, those bad apples. What message does this send to them? You better get the hell out of our profession now, because if you don't, you're going to end up in jail. That's for the police officers like we saw in Minneapolis with Derek Chauvin. Now, again, I've been doing this for 32 years. And the officers I've had the privilege to work with and lead, like the officers in the Bellevue Police Department, there is, I cannot, under any circumstance, imagine them doing something what we witnessed in Minneapolis. And as the prosecutor said, believe your eyes, because what we saw there was a crime, and this criminal is in the place where he belongs. All right, straightforward as always, and we appreciate your transparency. Chief Steve Milet with the Bellevue Police Department, and we appreciate your time tonight to talk to us, talk with us on this historic evening. Thank you. Thank you.